Welcome, beautiful goddess. We're going to do a little yoga vibe session for prosperity and purpose. We're also working on our chakras, our energy centers. So starting from our root chakra all the way up to our crown chakra. So just stand, happy standing at the front of your mat. I'm going to be facing this way for just a moment so you can see me. But make sure you have room behind you. Just lift your toes, spread them out, place them back down. And just very gently shift the weight forward and back a little bit. Feel the weight in the balls of the feet and the heels. Then find that point where the weight's on the whole of the foot. Imagine pressing through your big toe, little toe, inner and outer heel. At the same time, visualize stretching the crown of the head up towards the skies if you're lengthening out your spine. Just roll your shoulders up and back a couple of times, sliding them down away from the ears. Then lengthen them down, lengthen through the fingertips gently. Or just turn your hands, palms forward. Notice how that opens out your chest. We don't want to be rigid, but we don't want to be slouching either. And again, keep lengthening up. And just close your eyes or soften your eye gaze for a moment. And check in. Simply noticing how you feel this moment in time. No judgment, no criticism, no expectations. You know, sometimes we feel really good and we're full of energy, and other days, not quite so much. You're just simply noticing how you feel right now. So you can compare it at the end. So notice how you're feeling emotionally. Notice how you're feeling energetically noticing how you're feeling physically. And as you breathe, imagine breathing from your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. As you breathe out, imagine breathing out from the crown of your head down through to your feet. So breathing in and out through the nose. Deep breath in. Feel your chest expand, rib cage expand. Visualize breathing all the way up to the crown of your head. Pause for a second. And as you breathe out, feel your chest relax. Breathing out. Imagine breathing out all the way down to the feet. And this time, imagine you've got roots extending down from your feet, like tree roots down into the earth. And imagine you're breathing in up through your roots. Also, if you've got nostrils in your feet. So imagine breathing in from the earth all the way up to the crown of the head. Pause for a few seconds. And exhaling from the crown of the head down and out through the feet. And next time, imagine a little point about six inches above your head. Imagine like a, a circle of golden light. And this time, as you breathe in, imagine breathing in from the earth all the way up through the body, up to the circle of golden light, holding your breath for a few seconds. And as you breathe out, imagine breathing out from the circle of light all the way down and out through your feet. So you can visualize like light energy, like electricity, liquid light flowing up and down your body with each breath. As you breathe in, drawing energy from the earth all the way up and out of the crown of your head. And as you breathe out, imagine drawing energy down from the heavens, down through the body and out through the feet. And just one more breath like that. So standing here in mountain pose, also helps to work, work our root chakra, our first energy center, which is uh, associated with our physical needs and our physical attachment to the earth. So just taking the feet a little bit wider and come down into Balasana, yogic squat. Now, if your heels come off the floor like that, you can pop cushions or even books underneath your heels and adjust your feet to a position that suits you. Now, this is a position that's not like really comfortable for us Westerners, but there's another reason for us to do it. Now, I want you to squeeze your bum to try and stop the knees collapsing in. So think of engaging your inner thighs and imagine lengthening the crown of the head up towards 
the sky. So still breathing in through your roots up to a point just above the crown of your head. And as you breathe out, imagine drawing energy down from above, down through your body and out. And just bring your awareness to your tailbone, to the area around your tailbone, our root chakra. Holding your awareness in as you breathe in, just try and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles, pull up your pelvic floor muscles. And as you're here, just say to yourself, I am abundant and my needs are always met. I am abundant and my needs are always met. We can become fearful, we can have problems with our legs or hips, when we become fearful or ungrounded, you know, when we fear not being able to look after ourselves, we fear loss of our job, of our relationship, of our home. So just reminding yourself, I am abundant and my needs are always met. Press your palms together firmly, so you're using your elbows to press your knees out. Just one more breath here. I am abundant and my needs are always met. Now release the hands, turn the toes to face forward, and come into a forward bend. Hold on to opposite elbows and just swing your upper body like a pendulum side to side, stretching out the spine. focus on the sacral chakra which is just below the belly button so come back bring your fingertips beside your toes just bring your feet hip width apart bend your knees if you need to so your fingertips are in line with your toes rather than in front of them and you're going to step your right foot back you can step it back slide it back wiggle it back but keep going until your knee, your front knee is directly over your ankle. So you don't want that knee over the ankle, you want it in line. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes, climb up the legs and lift up nice and tall. You want to almost feel like you're leaning backwards. So we're focusing on stretching out the sacral chakra. So squeeze your glutes. Imagine squeezing your thigh bones with your thigh muscles. Relax those shoulders. If you can, interlink your hands, roll the shoulders back, lift the arms, lift the chest. Again, focusing on our sacral chakra, our center of pleasure, of creativity, that we can give birth to new ideas. And as you are here, say to yourself, I create prosperity. I create prosperity. Keep lifting through your chest. If you feel like you're a bit hunched forward, come up a little bit, lift up. Again, imagine you're leaning backwards, opening your heart. Have your head in a position that feels comfortable for you so that there's no strain in the neck. I create prosperity. Straightening the front leg a little bit, coming into a counter pose, stretching out the hamstrings of that front leg. Come back into the lunge, tuck the back toe under, push off that back foot and step back into a forward bend. And hold on to opposite elbows again, but this time switch arms, so whichever arm is in front, switch it. This time just bounce as if you're swinging forward and back. Bend your knees slightly, relax your head, and just breathe, feel the stretch in the spine. Yeah, feel your connection with Mother Earth. fingertips beside your toes, go bend your knees as much as you need to, taking the left foot back, again wiggle it back if you need to, so this knee is directly in line with the ankle, lower the back knee, untuck the toes, press into the legs, lift up, 
up. Imagine opening your heart and again feel that stretch on your lower belly, just below your belly button. Relax the shoulders. Push into that front foot as if you're trying to push yourself upright. And if you can, interlink the hands, but however you've just done it, switch. So the other fingers on top, roll the shoulders back, open your heart, lift those arms away from the body. Hold and breathe, nice deep breaths. And repeating to yourself, I create prosperity. I create prosperity. Feel that stretch in your sacral area, just below your belly button. And gently release. Bring your hands down and just think of pulling your hip back, trying to straighten that front leg. Don't worry if you can't straighten it completely. Just feel a release in your spine and stretching out the hamstrings. Come forward. From here, we're going to come into plank position. We're going to focus on our solar plexus, which is just above our belly button, our center of will and power. So tuck your back toes under, straighten that leg, scoop the belly button in and up, but relax your shoulders, and step your right foot back so the body's in a nice straight line in plank position. If you feel it in your lower back, it's probably because your hips are too low. If you feel it too much in your shoulders, lower your knees. Keep your head in line with the spine. And as you breathe in, suck your belly button in, suck your pelvic floor muscles in. As you breathe out, imagine stretching through the crown of the head. If you're on your toes, imagine stretching through the heels and through the crown of the head. If you're on your knees, stretch through the crown of the head and the tailbone. Don't let the head drop. Focus on your inner strength. And whilst you're here, repeat to yourself. I follow my passion with courage. Keep pulling the tummy muscles. It's a whole body exercise, a whole body posture. It's not just about the arms. So soften your shoulders. Draw your shoulder blades in towards your spine. And inhale, suck the belly button in. Lift up slightly. Exhale, stretch in both directions. Now scoop in and up. Exhale, stretch. I follow my purpose, my passion, sorry, I follow my passion with courage. Then help bend your knees, bend your elbows, lower yourself down onto the mat, untuck your toes, have your hands either side of your shoulders, elbows tucked in, roll the shoulders back, press your pubic bone into the floor, Inhale as you press your hands, lift your heart forward but without the elbows going out or the shoulders tensing, so you might not lift as high, that's fine. And exhale as you lower. And inhale, imagine peeling the spine off the floor, focusing on our heart center, so the center of your chest. And as you come up, imagine shining your heart forward, even if you only come up a little way like this. That's perfectly okay. But really engage those legs. Squeeze your glutes. Imagine pressing your pubic bone down into the floor and keep those shoulders relaxed. Breathing in as you lift, keep hugging your ribs, your elbows. Breathe out as you lower down. I'm just doing a few more of those, and as you're doing that, I want you to say to yourself, I give and receive effortlessly. I give and receive effortlessly. Imagine your heart opening, green, emerald green light shining out from your chest as you lift. Have your head in a neutral position. I give and receive effortlessly. One more, inhale, relax the shoulders. It works your arms as well. And exhale as you lower. And then bring your 
bring your arms down beside you. We're going to work on our throat chakra. So bring your chin to the floor. Looking forward, hands are down beside you, palms down. You're going to bend your right knee, flex that foot. And you're going to try and lift up and rest your left knee on the sole of your right foot. Close your eyes, take your awareness to your throat. Hold here and breathe. And whilst you're here, repeat to yourself, I give voice to my passion. I give voice to my passion. Yep. Focusing on that throat center, press your hands down into the floor. Gently release, come down. This time bring your hands beside your chest, just like we did, elbows tucked in, chin still on the floor. Bend your left leg, flex that foot, lift the right leg up, and balance your right knee on the sole of your left foot. Focusing on your throat, I give voice to my passion. Breathe deeply, I know it's a kind of funky posture, but breathe deeply, shoulders relaxed, chin on the floor, eyes closed. I give voice to my passion. Now release, lower yourself down. Inhale, pull your belly button, lift your hips slightly. Exhale, press up and come into child's pose. Arms down beside you, forehead on the floor. Focusing on our third eye. So imagine looking out of your forehead. As if you could look out of your forehead and down into the earth. Keeping your eyes closed. Focusing on your third eye. Relax the shoulders. If you need to take the knees out wider, you can do. Completely relax everything else. Even if you're not quite sitting on your heels, that's okay. And just breathe for your rib cage expand as you breathe in. And whilst you're here, say to yourself, I see my purpose clearly. I see my purpose clearly. Imagine you've got purple indigo light shining out like a torchlight from your third eye down into the earth. I see my purpose clearly. Push it for a nice counter stretch as well after those two little back bends. Couple of breaths. You're focusing on your third eye. On the next inhale, roll yourself up to sitting. Focusing on our crown chakra now. So interlink your hands. You're going to come forward and you're going to bring your forehead to the floor and you're going to lift your hips and roll onto the crown of your head. Just make sure when you roll up, you're on the top of your head and the chin isn't tucked in, so it looks like this. Come down forehead, so make sure you don't tuck your head in here. So literally like nose and forehead. Then roll up onto the crown of your head, stretch your arms up and away. Hold and breathe. If you feel like you need to put some padding under your head, go right ahead. It feels a bit hard, but make sure there's no pull on your neck. As you're here, focusing on the crown of your head, repeat to yourself, I am divinely guided. I am divinely guided. Keep lifting the hips, keep stretching the arms up and over. Turn your eye gaze up as if you can see right through the crown of your head. I am divinely guided. Good. 
this. Yeah, you lower down under your hands. Slowly roll yourself up. Just sitting, take your time. And bring yourself into a sitting position or any position where you can keep a nice tall spine. So if you can't sit comfortably cross-legged, even with a bolster, then sit on a chair. Here's Mr. Plumple Stilts again. And we do a little Kundalini Kriya where we bless ourselves and bless the world around us. So with your left hand, you're just going to place it nice on the top of your head, then lift it a few inches above. Fingers are together, palm facing down with your right hand. You bring it elbow into your side, palm facing out. And you're going to imagine all the energy, all the love in your heart center. And with the left hand, you're blessing yourself. The energy is flowing through your arm, down, through the crown of your head, into your heart center. With your right hand, imagine sending energy, love, blessings out into the universe. So you can imagine like a ball of light energy in the center of your chest. With each breath, that ball of light gets bigger and brighter. And it flows, the energy flows up your arm, through your left hand, down through the crown of your head. It flows out through your right hand, out into the world. Close your eyes, turn your eye gaze in and up towards your third eye. And focus on breathing as deeply as you can, because your ego will start chatting away about how your arms are heavy and all that kind of thing. Just acknowledge your ego, be gentle with your ego, and focus on the breath. So relax the shoulders. Just keep extending up through the crown of the head, relax around your hips. And visualize that light brilliant white light energy blessing yourself and blessing the world around you just think of blessing your close family and friends or you can imagine extending it out to the whole street the whole town even the whole world you know, what we need right now is more love more compassion more connection to our soulful self and focusing on that nice deep breath relax your shoulders in towards your spine it's going to be here for another couple of minutes you're nearly done Feel, sense, or imagine that energy flowing down through the crown of your head, blessing every part of you. Imagine it pouring down through your body, energizing, rejuvenating, sending love and healing vibes to every cell, every muscle, every gland. Sending out good vibes, positive vibes, love and healing to the world around you. Because we have more of an effect on the world around us than we realize. And when we're vibrating at a higher level, everything around us seems to fall into place. And so often, especially when we're fearful, we tend to go into survival mode, all kind of me, me, me mode. challenging at times to think of sending love out and your arm might be starting to shake my arm starting to shake a little bit just keep lengthening up use the breath breathing in as deeply as you can and breathing out as deeply and completely as you can feel your belly button pull in towards your spine just one more nice deep breath in breath out and extend your arms out
out in front, palms down. And you're reaching out into the world. So activating our heart center here. And just breathe deeply, eyes closed, focusing on your third eye point. Extending your heart energy out. Remember what we give out, what we send out, is multiplied to what we get back. So if we send out kind of anger and hate and distrust, that's what we get back. You know, if we look for the, the badness, if we look for the negative, we'll get it tenfold. Whereas if we send out love and positivity, that's what we'll get in return. So keep lengthening up, think of opening your heart, expanding your heart. Feel, you might feel the energy in your hands, the heat in your hands. Just a few more seconds, you can do it. position. Now raise your arms up, stretching up. And I know you're probably thinking, oh my god, my arms are so heavy, I can't do this. But imagine your arms are like antennae, you're drawing in energy from the universe, like a radio aerial, tuning into the radio waves, it's like you're tuning in to universal energy. Imagine drawing energy down through your arms, so you're rejuvenating your whole body amplifying your magnetic field, your aura. You start to fatigue, relax your shoulders even more and your arms again might start to shake, might have started to shake a little bit, but that's when change happens. And when we have big change occurring on the inside in our body, we have change occurring in our life. Remember our inner environment affects our outer environment. If we want our life to change, we need to change, not just on a mental level, but on a cellular, on an energetic level, on a spiritual level. Just 10 more seconds, keep reaching up, reach up even taller, even though you're tiring. Take another breath in, stretch up tall. And exhale, bring your hands down over your heart space. Keeping your eyes closed, noticing the changes in the body. Imagine how your arms might feel kind of light now, almost as if they're transparent, almost as if they're hollow. to when you started so noticing how you feel emotionally again without judgment without criticism and without expectation noticing how you feel energetically and also realizing that sometimes after a practice we may feel tired and that's because our body needs rest and we don't always listen when we need rest Press your hands into your sternum. Take a little bow to seal your practice. Namaste. Well done, beautiful goddess. It has been a pleasure and a joy. And I hope that we should be seeing each other and Flumble Stilt Skin again very soon. Mwah. <laughs>